Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to print a linked list in Python. Here we have a linked list with three nodes, 5, 17, and 8. And we have a root node, which is the 5 node. And each node has a pointer to the next node, except for the last node, which has none stored in its next node. So what we're going to add is, in the node class, we want to add a toString function so that it can give us a string representation of the node. Now we could return the string as whatever we want. It could simply be the data value in the form of a string, a 5 or a 17, or maybe it's something more elaborate than that, but we may have more than one piece of data stored in the, the node. So in this example, we're not going to define a really elaborate toString method. We're just going to return a simple string that tells us what the node's all about. And then in the linked list class, we need a print list method. And the print list function is going to basically iterate through the list, node by node. It's going to call the toString function in the node class for each node, and then it's going to print it out. And when we get to the end of the list, we'll stop. So that is the print list function. Now let's look at how to code our print function. So we're going to need a couple of helper functions in the node class here first. First, we'll define a hasNext function that can just check if the node that's calling it has a next node. And all it's really going to do is check if getNext is none. And if it is, it'll return false. Otherwise, it'll return true. So that's just an easier way for us to get a Boolean return if a node has a next value or if it's the, if it's the last value. And next, we're going to need a toString function so a node can convert itself to a string representation. So we'll just return a little string that has node value as a string, and then we're going to add to that the string conversion of a data, whatever data is stored in that node. So now we have those two functions added to the node class. We're also going to add something to the linked list class, which is our print function. And we'll print a little header that says we're printing the list. And then we're going to check if the root is none. Because if the root is none, we'll just return with only printing the header and nothing else. If there is one or more nodes in the list, then we'll say this node is the, the root. And then we'll print the root node. And then we'll use a while loop to iterate through the list and print the rest of the nodes. So while this node has a next node, we'll get the next node and then we'll print it using our toString function. So we'll basically take this node, we'll call its toString method, and convert it to a string and then send it to print. And that's it, that's our print function. Uh, let me add to the bottom of main here a simple little mylist.printlist and then let's run that and see how it looks. So you can see our list printed out print list and then it prints out node value 9, node value 3, node value 9, node value 5. So it basically iterates through the list and prints each node value. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.